Sorry, I sneezed. Hello guys, it's Boyrul from Sweden, and in today's video we have a very interesting leak of the next case and the next knife. So it is with almost guaranteed certainty that in the near future we are going to get a new case with a new knife. But before we talk about that, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Skins Monkey. They're one of the best and easy to use trading sites for CSGO, and it's perfect for switching up your inventory to play with new skins especially now for CS2. And by clicking the link in the description or using code ANOMALY, you get a deposit bonus of up to 35%, which is insane. And if you're making your first trade, you can also put code ANOMALY and you get up to $5 for free. Plus, they've got many nice extras like freebies for free skins and free balance and 24-7 support. So if you want to try them out, then please do so from the link in the description. And thank you once again, Skins Monkey, for sponsoring this video. Now, how do we know that we have a new case and a new knife? Well, a few days ago, the cookery knife was officially added to the items game.txt in the CS2 files. Now, this isn't really something new. The cookery model has been in the game for quite a while, and I talked about it on my clips channel, but now we have actual concrete proof that it's coming. Having a knife model be added to the game doesn't really mean that it's 100% gonna make it into the game, because there's a lot of glove files that are in the game but have never been released. There's a lot of knife and weapon models that are in the game files but aren't released. Well, now as Mr. Game Follower posted in the last update, skins for future cookery knives were added to the actual game files item game TXT. But it's a bit weird. So here you can see the weapon is knife cookery, which is the one we've seen before. But what is weird are the skins that we will have on it. As we can see on the next picture, the knife cookery patterns are purple, tiger, damascus, marble fade, rust coat, which is really weird because these are not normal patterns. These are the chroma patterns. And usually the chroma patterns come a lot later than the first few skins. For example, the Karambit Vanilla, which is the knife, was added 10 years ago in 2013, but the Doppler version of the Karambit was first added in January 2015, which is a lot later. So it's very weird that the cookery would initially release with the chroma skins. And thanks to them now being in the game, I'll be able to show you guys all of the cookery knives and the patterns in game, but I'll do that a little later, because now we are looking at the new case which is leaked. So in the same files item game, we see here revolving loot list for community crate number 33. And as you can see, I've opened up the the last version of the uh, items game and you can see crate community 32 you can see the skins in it are from the revolution case this is the last case we have there is no community case number 33 but now there is however i think this case might be a huge disappointment it seems the new case is the revolution case again. The reason I think so is because you see, create community 33, skins that it contains, Mag 7 Insomnia, but we already have that one, MP9 Superlight, Scar Fragments, P250 Rebuild, Tech 9 Freedom, oh, that's the Tech 9 Rebel. So as you can see, all of these skins are already in the case, and it's the same for every quality, blue, purple, pink, red, they're all from the Revolution case. But there is one difference. All of these say, for example, AK Headshot Holo New C CS2. M4A4 Temukau, new CS2. What this leads me to believe is they are simply just going to re-release the revolution case. And I will show you why, because I think I have a very good penis. Let's take a look at, for example, the M4A4 Temukau, which is in the Revolution collection. This is a nice skin, but you will instantly see the model of the M4 is the old model. Let me switch over to the new model and you'll see the massive difference. You may be able to see it more in this side-by-side -side comparison. The bottom is the new model, obviously, and the upper one is the old one. The difference is very big. And the reason for this is the top model 
model was made somewhere in 2011 by Valve, and the bottom one was made by Valve in 2023. There is over 10 years of technological advance between these models, making the bottom one look a lot better, and also allowing for the skin that will eventually be applied on the bottom skin to be a better looking version, both model-wise and texture-wise. And apparently, from what I've heard, Valve have already done this in Dota 2, where they basically would take an old case, update all of the skins to make them look a lot better, and then just re-release it in their new client, their updated game, and then just call it a day. I really don't think we will see Valve do this with every single case in CS, it just doesn't make sense. But I think definitely they could do this with Revolution, maybe a few more, max. I think honestly, people are not going to be that interested in having a new case with a hype release, but it's just the old case. I would be very disappointed, even though the skins do look better, we already have them in the game. And now after we've talked about the very interesting leak, let's take a look at the actual cookery knife, what it's going to look like, and probably what patterns it's going to be released with. So here is the cookery vanilla. Pretty cool, actually, I'm not gonna lie. Oi, oi, oi. It feels like if they took a Navaha and just stretched it and made it a lot bigger. And also you can see here on the actual blade here, like a wild cat logo symbol, this might actually be the collection picture for the new case, which would be pretty interesting. Next skin we have for the cookery is called purple, and of course, from that case, it is the ultra violet. Pretty clean, it doesn't feel that new, but I guess it's cool because it is kind of big. This is a big man's knife. I know, for example, my dad, he will absolutely love the cookery. Next up, tiger orange, of course it is tiger tooth. Very, very clean. However, I'm not sure about the model, but I do like the handle being completely black on all of these, so it makes it fit a bit better. Next up is Damascus steel, which honestly doesn't look too different from the vanilla until you start stepping like here, where you can actually see almost the waves of the pattern, which is very cool. Of course you can't have chroma skins without the marble fade, which honestly doesn't look half bad, I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully we can have fire eyes on the play side, but I don't think that's gonna be possible because the knife is just too big. I doubt we can have only blue and red without any yellow on it. After this we have the rust coat, which also looks very similar to the Damascus steel after now the CS2 update. It's still pretty decent. This is obviously a very good float one. This is what it would look like with 0.99 float, which is very bad. It looks like someone just shoved this up the their ass and they called it a day. After this, of course, the last skin we have is the Doppler, which has all the faces and the ruby sapphire and black pearl. This is the face one, and now we're talking a skin that I actually kind of do like. It has a very big blade, so you can get a lot of the pattern on it, and bro, when you look into the sun, it's very shiny, and I like this one a lot. But it's really weird, and I don't understand. Why would they release the cookery with the chroma finishes first, before ever releasing the normal patterns, like Slaughter, Fade, Urban Masked, and Knight. I don't know why they would add it to the files if they're not gonna release it, but if they release it, I don't understand why they would release these before the regular finishes. Here is the Cookery Phase 2. You can see very similar to the Phase 1, but the Phase 2 obviously has way less of the black and makes it shine even more. This one, in combination with some nice gloves, would look very good. The Cookery Doppler Phase 3 was, of course, also released, and this is one of my favorites. You can see how icy it looks. And the final of the normal faces, the face 4. You could have believed this was a sapphire if I didn't tell you, but it looks very, very, very good. This is a very interesting knife if they end up adding it. For the first gem, we have a ruby. This one looks very good. The blade is large and it has a very specific color. This is kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. I don't expect the cookery to be that expensive once prices settle. I think we're going to look at a price around the Huntsman gut knife flip knife area, like the midsection. I wouldn't think this would be the worst knife, like this is still better than a Navaha, but it's also not that good. An M9 bayonet or a bayonet is still much better than this. Second to last, we have the Sapphire, which looks very good, I am not gonna lie, but it does look very similar to the Phase 4, but still, when you hit it with that sunlight, 
Oof, god damn. And for the final, and by far the rarest cookery we will see that they've added to the files, which they're hopefully, probably going to add to the game, is of course the Black Pearl, which now looks much better than it did in CSGO, with this purple hue and distinct, like, black to purple colors. I think these are going to be pretty expensive in the beginning, because obviously Black Pearls are the rarest. It's gonna take a while for a lot of these to be unboxed. And that's it, gentlemen. Those are all of the cookery patterns, the finishes, that they added to the items game TXT file in the last update, which would indicate that they're going to add it to the game, but I still think it's very weird that they're starting by adding the chroma finishes instead of the normal finishes. Once again, it's Valve. I have no idea what they're doing, and I'm pretty sure they have no idea what they're doing. For the final prediction, it looks like they're going to re-release the revolution case. It would be weird for them to change the case from having gloves to having a a cookery and also it looks like they are indeed adding a cookery soon but I wouldn't think that we get the actual case before 2024 because the support for CSGO will end on the 1st of January that's where the cutoff point is and that's basically where CSGO is completely dead and will no longer receive updates and this kind of makes sense because they can't really add the new skins while CSGO is still here because it doesn't have the new models so my prediction is sometime in January January, we are going to be seeing a new case, and the new case may very well be the re-release of the Revolution case. Now, thank you guys for watching. Now I'm going to go cry because we're like two years without any content in CS and over a year without a case. And if the first case that we get in CS2 ends up being a re-release, that's very disappointing and we're in for a hell of a ride. Yeah, yeet!